how to set up your tagline in uh, in a WordPress site for good SEO results. And uh, by the way, what the heck is tagline in WordPress? If you come here to settings general, you see the first two settings are site title and tagline. And a lot of you guys are asking what is tagline and how to set it uh, so you can get better SEO results. Okay, first let's see how this uh, tagline and the site title appears. Actually, it really depends on your theme and it depends on your SEO settings. I advise you to use the, the Yoast SEO plugin, but anyway, any kind of uh, SEO plugin you use, you can set up uh, your WordPress site to use your tagline to basically to define your homepage title. Let's see my homepage and uh, so you can understand what I'm talking about. Uh, here is the here is the homepage. In uh, some WordPress themes, you have the option to to actually display the tagline in the homepage. I don't like that, so <clears throat> you can see something similar here, which you can actually call a tagline. But this is not in my case. This is not the the actual tagline uh, I set up here in the in the general settings. So in my case, you don't see my WordPress tagline in the homepage. The only only place you see it in is the here, the title. This is the the homepage title. And why is this important for SEO? Uh, SEO experts agree that uh, like one of the most important things, one of the most important uh, signals for Google in SEO is the is the title, is the actual title. So. Make sure that your title is good enough. And what I advise you to do in uh, here in the tagline is first to set up your site to display this tagline as uh, your homepage title. So let's go here. This is the the Yoast SEO plugin uh, settings. And when you come here to titles and metas, you can just open it in a in another uh, tab in a new tab. There is a tab called homepage here. Uh, usually you can set up your homepage title either here or if you use a, a separate page for your homepage, then you go ahead and, and uh, set up that page. So actually what you see here is uh, these codes, these variables. Site name is uh, this, the actual site name you set up here in the general settings and uh, the SEP is the separator. You see site name, separator, is the dash, and site desk is actually site description, which is the tagline. I think this is the, this is the way uh, Yoast SEO plugin is set up by default. You just install it and this is the, this is the actual homepage title you get. So you don't have to do anything. You just uh, <coughs> go ahead and come here to general settings. You use your site title, which I advise you to use actually your brand name, uh, some, some, some brandable name. You want uh, to have this short and something uh, you want uh, you to be remembered by your visitors. And for the tagline, I actually advise you to use your most important two or three keywords. Uh, the main reason is not because you want to rank for these keywords. I mean, actually, of course, I want to rank for WordPress tutorials, SEO tutorials, but this is not a not a short term goal for me. The short term goal for setting the, the two or three most important keywords in my homepage title, which is actually the tagline, is that I can define what my website is about in general. This way I can define it to Google and I can define it to my visitors. And uh, just just a brief explanation of the title if you type in if you type in let's say just type in wp cookhouse this is my website you see wp cookhouse wordpress tutorials seo tutorials etc so this is the actual title so if your title is set up correctly google takes it from you takes the title from your site from your page from your home page and this is the the actual most important line, the title, what it displays. So it plays a really important role in SEO. I advise you to set up uh, the way I use it. This is actually the, the way Yoast 
uh, advises us to use it because otherwise why would it be the, the default settings and just the easiest way to do it use a brand name your brand name for site title and use your two or three most important keywords the keywords that describe your website in a whole what is your website about if you find somebody if you meet somebody on the street and they ask you what is your website about you tell them these two or three words and they understand what your website is about so use these keywords here and this will give you a boost not necessarily for these keywords if you are just starting a website but in general Google will understand better what your site is about I hope you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching